I'm ready. Here we go. The next section. It's crazy because in camera you can't. Yeah, you can't capture really, those. Yeah, I see the articulation <laughs> yeah. that we're actually going through. Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today we're off-roading at Cleghorn, which is a popular trail in Southern California for all sorts of off-road vehicles and it makes for a really nice scenic all-day off-road trip. Now this was me and my Tacoma's first time on this trail and we were actually accompanied by one of my personal favorite Tacoma YouTubers. So guys, this is Jesse Rizzo and his truck. Jesse, I am so honored to meet you because I've been watching your videos since even before I got my own Tacoma. So you're a huge inspiration. I love your mods. I love your off-road videos. And it's so exciting to go off-roading with you today. And we're gonna be off-roading in his awesome built-up 2020 TRD off-road. So the lineup was my truck, a 2019 TRD off-road that I built to be pretty close to stock form because it is a daily driver, but it's got 265 all-terrain BF Goodrich tires and Fox 2.5 suspension. Jesse's 2020 TRD off-road that has 285 Toyo Open Country RT tires, iBox suspension, a lift, and a ton of skid plates and more armor than mine, and Alex, who is one of our spotters but also brought his second gen two-wheel drive pre-runner that he's planning to do a 4x4 conversion on eventually. Right now though, it has a spacer lift and Bilstein shocks. So we had quite the variety of Tacomas and tried different offshoots with different ones. So now we're trying to get through this section. We got the two wheel drive pre runner coming up first. All right, we got Jesse up next. He's picking a different line, I think. All right, my turn next.
I'm not afraid to say that this trail was one of the most technical ones I've done in my Tacoma. There's offshoots that my somewhat stock Tacoma and even Jesse's Tacoma with 285 tires and the lift really would have trouble doing. Jesse and I actually swapped trucks for a couple of sections because we were curious to compare the modifications that we've done to each of our own trucks. Even though we pretty much started with the same exact canvas, we've both taken our own routes in terms of modifications and have built quite different Tacomas. All right, so now I'm off in a completely different Tacoma. We're in Jesse's truck, finally trying out 285s for the first time on the trail, so I'm super excited. Well, right off the bat, you could definitely feel that this truck kind of eats the trail a lot easier. I mean, with bigger tires, all your holes get smaller. The suspension also definitely feels a little bit different than the Fox suspension. I don't know if it's just that the truck is lifted. We're just in two wheel drive going up this fire road. It's definitely a little bit rocky, but this truck has no problem getting over anything. Also, one of the big differences between mine and Jesse's truck is that he has a 2020 TRD off-road and I have a 2019 TRD off-road. And he has Apple CarPlay, which I'm a little bit jealous about. We went through an offshoot in Jesse's truck that was very difficult the first time up, but when we used the locker the second time up, along with staying in lower gear, it felt like the truck was doing all the work for us. And I really do have a huge appreciation of how Toyota engineered their four low gear, specifically how the truck doesn't fall backwards and how you can left foot brake and have really great control. And the fact that the TRD off-road and pro trims come with a rear locker because that really makes all the difference in a section like this. However, I think there's something to be said about getting through some of these parts without all of this tech because it takes someone who's skilled enough to pick a good line and have good control themselves. It was super awesome having the pre-runner in the mix because Alex was doing sections that even a lot of Jeeps and my truck were skipping. And it's quite impressive because sometimes you end up three-wheeling on these rocks and doing that in two-wheel drive is quite the feat. There was a section at the end of the trail that the pre-runner did that was pretty gnarly. Since it was downhill and and there was a huge hole. It required really, really good brake control and steering to make sure the truck could take over this obstacle without hitting anything. You want to step in there just so they see how big that hole really is? <laughs> I like, don't know if I can like... <laughs> <laughs> the video is not going to do justice, but... I know. And it, and it goes all the way down there too, which is just like insane. <laughs> As someone who doesn't have as many off-road miles on their Tacoma as Jesse does, it was really fun doing this trail and getting to practice finding a good line and getting to experience and feel the differences between things like 285 tires versus 265 tires, a lift versus a level, different aftermarket suspension, and more. Jesse and I will be doing many more collabs in the future and comparison videos between the different mods in our trucks as well as more trail runs so be sure to subscribe to his channel and my channel if you like those kinds of videos during this trip jesse also filmed a video that gives you a look at what goes on inside these trucks when we hit some of these sections there's a ton of oh craps and oh my gods thrown out there but also a lot of laughs and crazy faces especially by me so be sure to check out that on his channel a huge thanks to him for letting me drive his truck and for a really awesome day of off-roading. Thanks to Alex and Kyle for coming out to film a lot of this stuff for us and for being our spotters. And thank you for watching today's video. Also, both Jesse and I have Instagrams where we we're posting in real time the things that we were doing and some behind the scenes stuff. So follow Jesse at underscore Jesse Rizzo and me at Chloe Kuo Taco.
All right, you guys, Jesse and I just finished the trail. We're about to head home, and we did have a couple battle scars as usual, new pinstripes, as well as a couple new scratches on the skid plate. We all hit our bumpers. Our second gen actually lost a tail light, and I lost something as well, my toe hitch cover. This is one of the first mods I did, so I think I want to fix this, maybe re-weld it. But anyways, Jesse, <laughs> thank you so, so much. This was so fun. I really love driving your Tacoma. You'll hey. definitely have to check out his channel to see my stupid reaction to when we went over some of the crazy offshoots. And yeah, thank you so much, no Jesse. No problem. We could do it again anytime you want. We're both close to each other, so. Mm -hmm. we there's gonna be a lot more collabs in the future, so be sure to subscribe to Jesse's channel. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you like Tacoma mods and off-road videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>